Hey everyone, it's Pete from Ironclad, and today I'm taking command and doing touchscreen part three. Well, welcome to part three of touchscreen. And how cool is that? I finally got to use the big plasma ball. That was a lot of fun. Now, let me give you a quick recap of how we got here to part three. If you remember in part one, it was all about capacitance or how touchscreens store electricity and use that to accurately find touch points on a screen. Part two was about conductivity and how we use our glove tech and other forms to transmit the capacitance or transfer the electricity to the touchscreen devices. And today is all about part three, command, and specifically our command touchscreen technology and how we use that in our gloves to make them touchscreen compatible, not only for now, but well into the future. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first big question I would like to address is why? Why touchscreen devices? Why are touchscreens even needed? And then why have we made command touchscreen tech? Now, I think anyone can appreciate the amount we're all using touchscreens in our daily lives. From our mobile cell phones to tablets and iPads, laptops, PCs, TVs, even products at home like fridges and security systems. It really is quite exponential, but it's not just our personal life, it's also our business life and how much we're using those devices as part of our daily work life. Business and companies are continuing to digitize at a rapid rate and all of those functions that may have been a manual job before are becoming more and more digitized and therefore more screen orientated and in turn generally using touchscreen functionality. So that's why touchscreen devices, but why command gloves? Well, we took that why question and spent 18 months developing a better method for incorporating touchscreen into gloves, and that resulted in the command touchscreen range. And why are they better? It's because of our infused carbon nanoparticles. We fuse minute carbon-based nanoparticles to the very fibers that make up the thread, that make up the fabric or the synthetic leather we use to make gloves. So right at the very core of that fiber, it is touchscreen. Now, why is that important to you? Well, the key thing is they don't wear out as the gloves wear down. They won't wash out, they won't wear out, they won't sweat out, they won't fall off. No matter what happens to that glove, if it is still serviceable and usable, it will still be touchscreen. And that's really important for you in your everyday job function. So that's the first point of why because it needs to be reliable and usable as part of your daily business function. So the second point I'd like to address is what? What is all the data about? What is the command tech all about? And well, what does it really mean for you? Now, uh, let me get a little bit technical here and I'm gonna put up a graph which is all about conductivity ratings and how we measure them. Now, what is so important about this? Well, you need to have good conductivity, strong conductivity to get from this to this. It has to be conductive or it won't work. And that's why we talk about conductivity and conductivity ratings. Now, this graph here, you can see it starts from right down here and it goes up high to up here. And this is showing the conductance of items using a measurement called nano siemens. And down here you have, you know, very base materials, things like timber and wood and synthetic leather. And then it goes on to things like leather and leather gloves are around here. Not very conductive at all. And they just don't work with touchscreen devices. And then you sort of get up around about here, you start coming up a little bit, a bit of conductivity, and you have things like, you know, old styles of touchscreen, competitor gloves, and all those old touchscreen things that I've shown you before, and they just don't work. And obviously you can see they're only part of the way up the scale, barely off the bottom. And then we get up to, you know, like this blue line in the middle here. Now that is the baseline you need to be at for conductivity. That's a thousand nano siemens, and that's basically a bare hand. We have carbon, and that's our skin is made up of carbon elements, and that's where the touchscreen conductance really kicks in. It has to be at that blue line or above 
or it's just no point, it doesn't work. And then you can see up here, we move on to our command nits and our command higher command tech series. And then right up here are the really, really conductive materials like, you know, metal and steel and water. And, you know, don't go out. There's lightning about, step in a puddle and you're gone. <laughs> I mean, just don't do it. It's very, very conductive. Now, you can see that if we're between here and here, there's our command tech. It's very conductive. Now, what makes that important? What does that mean to you? Well, let's face it. As we discussed in point one, you need gloves uh, for work functions. It's now more prevalent that work functions are being digitized and using touchscreen devices. But the problem is if you're wearing gloves, you either have to take those gloves off or find a method to use those gloves on your touchscreens without removing the gloves. And that's where our command tech comes in. You don't have to take the gloves off to keep your gloves working and keep touchscreen. So it improves efficiency, it keeps your business running, it keeps you on track, your workflow in motion, because you don't have to stop and remove your gloves to be touchscreen. Okay, that's what what is all about. Our command touchscreen technology. Okay, so let me wrap this up for you. I think pretty much every glove in the future will have to be touchscreen. Now, if you aren't looking at touchscreen tech already, you should be. Touchscreen gloves are the way of the future and ironclad command series tech is leading the way. Let me show you just some of the range we've actually incorporated this in. This is our standard Command Series Pro with neoprene across the back of the hand and full touchscreen synthetic palm. Just amazing glove and we have that in many different ways like even high-vis. It comes in a number of different form factors but exactly the same glove in high-vis neoprene, fantastic range of gloves and we've even got it in a utility version. This is an open cuff, easy on, easy off, lighter fabric on the back of the hand and uh, again, full touchscreen, um, low cost version of the touchscreen gloves. Amazing, amazing gloves. We've even got it in our MGG uh, grip glove, which is a silicon infused palm and it's still full touchscreen. Now this is basically, it's touchscreen and it's basically a newer version of our famous box handler, which revolutionized uh, delivery driver and distribution center uh, handling methods. And it's just both still an amazing glove, but uh, you know, box handler, non-touchscreen. This one, Touchscreen, MGG full touchscreen, amazing glove. And with that silicon infused palm, you need to check it out. We also have it in our full uh, impact range. This is our MIG R5. Again, full touchscreen, cut A6, amazing, amazing glove, full touchscreen, and even in a high vis version, this is cut A6 as well. Um, we even have it in our tactical range. And here's a great version of our matte finish silicon infused palm. Both of these are silicon infused palms and both still fully touchscreen. And of course we have them in different colors and different makeups. This is just the basic uh, tactical glove. I mean, check out this video of the Indonesian army at the firing range. It's a little bit noisy, but they're testing out the touchscreen after using them still at the range. I mean, they even let our own sharpshooter Tico test them out for real. You've got you to check that out. He's the guy yeah. shooting. Now, these are just great for government and military, police, army, navy, air force, security, paintball, uh, gel blasters, airsoft, many, many different applications and just a great glove to have a look at. And I've got to say, we now also have our touchscreen in our knit dip range of gloves. This is our uh, KKC and our SKC range of gloves and the nitrile is actually touchscreen. We have infused our carbon nanoparticles into the actual nitrile coating and knit and they are full touchscreen capable. You really need to check them out. Okay, hey, I would love to get you more information. We have data sheets on all of these gloves available. So please reach out to your local Ironclad or Brighton Best branch near you. They all have this information and would love to share it with you. I'll put all of their contact details up here for you so you can see a location near you. And please reach out and let you know how great people get to know you a bit and share the benefits that Command Touchscreen Gloves can make to your job. Well, 
I hope you found this series on touchscreen interesting. And if you wanna catch more videos as we release them, well, it'd be great if you'd subscribe. I'll be starting a new series very shortly, and we have some awesome new releases, some gloves and some other stuff coming up this year. So just saying, click that button, hit up the likes. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next Ironclad update. Bye for now. Take command.